this video, I want to just briefly discuss a few tips for conducting effective meetings. You know, all too often we, we go through these meetings, and I don't know about you, but oftentimes I feel like this is more my meeting experience, both as a, as a leader and as a participant in meetings, because we just don't have a grasp enough on conducting effective meetings. So I just want to provide a few quick tips for what we can do for making sure that we are conducting effective meetings uh, as leaders. Uh, so some meeting management tips. First of all, we want to stand pat. We can remember this acronym, stand pat, uh, and that stands for purpose, agenda, and time frame. So these are three things as we're considering uh, establishing a meeting or having a meeting, we need to, to make sure that we are standing pat. And first of all, that we have a purpose for this meeting. We ought to be able to express that in just one to two sentences. Why are we having this meeting? What is the purpose? What are we hoping to gain from this? You know, those types of questions that we should be able to answer in just one to two sentences and, and explain to people we're having this meeting because of this and this is what we're doing. Right? So we ought to be able to, if we don't have a purpose, then we oughtn't have a meeting. We also need an agenda for that meeting. We ought to have an established agenda that we can send out in advance, ideally, so that people have an idea coming into the meeting what we're going to be talking about so they can be prepared uh, for discussion and bring in the materials that they might need. Okay, so we need to have an agenda, and we need to get that agenda out to people before the start of the meeting. Okay. So an agenda is important, even if it's just a couple items. But again, this will help us also in defining our purpose and making sure that this is what we're here to talk about. We're not talking about these things over here. The agenda is set so that we can talk about this in order to achieve that purpose that you've set out uh, in, in the initial uh, meeting establishment. And then a time frame. We, we need to give people an expectation for how long this is going to take, and we need to, to do that in advance as well. Uh, and say, okay, this meeting is going to be from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, or however long it's going to be, so that they can block that time out and, and have an idea of what that meeting time is going to be. And we need to be respectful of that as well. Uh, speaking of which, we need to start and end on time. No waiting for people who are 10, 15 minutes late or whatever. And if you have somebody who's so critical of a meeting and they're not there on time, then you need to cancel that meeting after, you know, five or 10 minutes of waiting. You don't want to be there all day. So if they're not there within a few minutes, then cancel the meeting and reestablish it for another time if they're that critical. But for the most part, you need to get in the habit of setting a time that you, that you send out in advance. And then you need to be respectful of people's time in starting and ending that meeting on time. If it's going to start at this time, if it's going to start at 10 o'clock or 3 o'clock or 2.30 or whatever, then start it at that time. Don't hesitate. and Don't wait. Be there yourself. Be there on time. Be prepared to start that meeting on time. And then end the meeting on time. People have different obligations. They can't have meetings going over time, even by a few minutes. You need to be respectful. You need to pad the end of your meeting a little bit. If you have a time for questions or whatever, then save the last five minutes or so and be prepared to end at that time and say, okay, this is where we're cutting off. Let's wrap up any discussion that we have, answer any questions that we have, because we are going to respect your time. We're going to end this meeting at the time we said it would end. It's so crucial um, for leaders in meeting management that we'd be able to start and end on time. Keep and send minutes. Uh, you need to have a record of what's going on. I mean, you may feel like, well, I'm never going to forget what happened in this meeting. Well, first of all, you will. And secondly, others will too. So you need to have somebody take min minutes, not you if you're leading the meeting. Ask someone else in advance so that they can be prepared to do this, so that they can take minutes of this meeting, so that you have a record of what you what you discussed, what decisions were made, how they were made, all that kind of stuff. And then Send it as soon as possible after that meeting. Send it to all the meeting participants so that they can review and, and make any corrections or, or, you know, ask for any corrections that they see might need to be made. But, but you need to have a record and you need to provide that record to people so that they can say, yes, this is what happened or no, I, I see this a little differently. Can we make some adjustments and, and then do so if needed? Okay, but you need to keep and send minutes. And that needs to be something that's arranged in advance with somebody else who's going to be in that meeting with you. And then finally, stay focused. I mean, one of the biggest irritations people have with meetings is that they get off track, right? They, they go in all kinds of directions. You have a purpose. You've established that. You have an agenda, and hopefully, that you've established and sent that out. Stick to that. And, and that's going to be difficult for you as the meeting manager even. So, again, I would encourage you to ask someone else 
to, to, to be the watchdog for this, so to speak, and, and, you know, make a signal or raise their hand and not in a massive way, but give you some indication that we've gotten off track here. We need to pull things back in so that you have some signal worked out or that they even say in the meetings, you know, you clear their throat and say, okay, I think we've, we've veered a little bit off topic. If we need a different meeting or if we need a different way to discuss this, then we can establish a separate meeting, but that's not our purpose and that's not on our agenda for this particular meeting. Okay. So you need to stay focused and you need to be the one, you know, with the reins in your hand controlling how this, you know, which direction it's going and, and keeping this, this train on the track, so to speak. Okay. And you need some help doing that to give you a signal when things get off track, but you are ultimately responsible for uh, making sure that meeting stays on track. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'm always happy to answer questions via email about about meeting management or about anything else related to small group communication. Don't hesitate to shoot me an email. In the meantime, happy communicating.